Coach Nate here. I want to talk to you real quick about how you can utilize activity resistance training to build more muscle to recover easier from a weekend like Memorial Day or anytime you're not necessarily on point with your diet. This is called the Bull Theory of Muscle Building. Introduced to me, kind of talked about with uh, Dr. Alan Christensen on my podcast recently. But basically, what, what it means is this when you eat food that's high in carbohydrates, what happens is your muscle gets first dips. So, the more muscle you have, the more tissue you actually have in your body, and the more you use it, so the more times you empty it out of that existing glycogen, the easier this is gonna be. So let me, let me give you a demonstration. Stick around to the end because if this is something that's interesting to you, you can just send me a message and I can actually send you a home resistance training program to get you started on this. But someone who's got low muscle mass, someone who doesn't necessarily have a ton of muscle mass, is gonna have a much harder time recovering from a binge eating experience, eating a whole pizza, eating off plan, whatever you want to call it, okay? So let's pretend like this bowl is your muscle, okay? This is where we're pouring our glycogen into, and then this bowl is our fat. So normally you'd have three bowls here. You'd have a subcutaneous, you're under the skin fat, you'd have your visceral fat, that's the stuff that around your organs, and then we have the really bad on the very bottom, the organ fat, which you definitely do not want. So low muscle mass, you're not really doing, you're not really having a lot. You fill that bowl up, and all of a sudden that starts to fill into your fat, okay? Now, Picture someone else who's maybe not, 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 don't think about someone who's like a mass monster. That's not what we're talking about here. But someone who has a little bit higher percentage of, of body muscle. Someone who you think of like, oh, that person's fit. They're in good shape. Now, their bowl is going to look a lot more like this. They're just going to have a lot more, especially if they're actually working out on a daily basis. So rather than that pouring in and going straight into, like pouring, spilling over and going straight into our fat, you can see it takes a lot longer to get to that point and then you just barely spill over, okay? Obviously, this is a very, very crude demonstration. It doesn't necessarily mimic what your life would look like, but I want to just give you a visual image of what it means to actually have more muscle because muscle gets first dips. So which would you rather have? The small bowl that can hold just a little bit or the little bit of a larger bowl? And the way this works is when we have our muscles that are filled with glycogen, that's gonna help us produce energy. So then we go out and we go running. We do resistance training. We basically use up and burn up that muscle glycogen that's already in your muscles. Empty that bowl out, so to speak, so that when you have something with a higher carbohydrate, first thing it does, refills all your muscle glycogen stores. Then after that, it prioritizes the fat in that order that I just explained, subcutaneous, under the skin. Not some, some of us would not say it's ideal, but it's not necessarily unhealthy fat. Visceral fat, that's fat around the organs. That's, that's your body's last defense before organ fat. So it's trying to protect your organs from becoming over fat. This is why um, Dr. Alan Christensen had said that it's almost equally unhealthy to be under muscled as it is to be over fat. So it's very important that we're prioritizing resistance training. What does this mean? That mean, doesn't mean go stop running, go take her, ditch your Orange Theory gym membership. What it means is we just need to start incorporating more resistance training exercises into our daily training regime. So you know that's maybe twice a week would be ideal to start with. Making sure you're hitting between eight and 12 reps using a higher weight. So you can use your body weight using like a suspension trainer like this. You can use something that's actually like a barbell. You can use dumbbells. Whatever that looks like, it's important to prioritize building some strength and building muscle. Now this is a very long-term game. If you, the more muscle you can maintain into your 40s, 50s, and beyond, the healthier you're going to be, the better your joints and, and your body's going to feel, the higher your metabolism is going to be, and the faster you're going to recover from a weekend where you don't necessarily eat ideally. So if you need some help with that, uh, DM me, tag a friend below who needs to see this, because I think that right now we're in our culture, we're really prioritizing being lean, being small, being less when it's important to start building more muscle, becoming more, becoming stronger, and getting more done. All right, guys, so hope you have a great week. Let's become more this week.